Hi viewers, welcome back. Today I'm back with an ancient art form named decoupage. Decoupage is the art of decorating objects by gluing colored papers or tissues or cutouts in a combination with special paint effects. The origin of decoupage is through 18th century but it became popular when the famous designer Jean Michael Frank used decoupage on some of his earliest designs in Paris in 1920. Now let me show you all how to make a homemade glue for this. First, soak a teaspoon of gelatin in half cup of water. Then, in a pan, add 1 fourth cup of water and 2 teaspoons of sugar and boil it in low flame. Meanwhile, take 2 teaspoons of corn flour, to that add 1 third cup of water and mix it well. Then add this corn mixture to the boiling sugar syrup. When the gelatin have soaked completely, add this mixture to it and mix it well. Now pour the mixture back to the pan again and add 2 teaspoon of vinegar. Then boil the mixture again until it becomes a paste like consistency. Pour it into a jar and let it cool. Then it's ready to use. You can also make this Mod Podge with white glue and water. I am going to show you all how to decoupage on three types of materials that is plastic, fiber and glass. First, let's make it on a plastic eyeglass case. Apply a thick layer of acrylic color on the object and if it is not thick enough, apply a second layer again. When the paint have completely dried, apply a coat of glue on top of the case. Here, I have chosen floral print tissue paper. First, remove the second layer of the tissue and place the printed layer on the case carefully. Tap it to stick well, but be careful so that the tissue don't wrinkle. Apply a coat of glue again on top of the tissue and then continue the process. Slowly tear the excess tissue by hand and then paste the pieces on uncovered areas. Now let's decoupage on a glass container. First apply a thick layer of acrylic paint on the jar. See that the color always matches the material you are going to stick on. After the jar has completely dried, cut the floral print as you like. Then place it on the jar carefully. Now brush some glue on top of this print and then continue the process. After you paste all the print, place a cling foil on top of the jar and remove the wrinkles completely. Mm -hmm. 
Now let's decoupage on this old mobile case. Here I applied glue inside the case and stuck the print upside down. After placing the print, apply more glue on top and then remove the wrinkles with a cling foil. Cut the excess tissue with a scissor or exacto blade. Now keep the objects for drying for 24 hours. After 24 hours, cut the opening of the case with an exacto knife. Then you can draw some details with a marker on top if you wish and this step is completely optional. Similarly, I also made a decoupage case with the comic book pages and it turned out to be really cute. Complete some unfinished details of the decoupaged jar. And this jar can be used to send some goodies to your loved ones. I stuck the print on the mobile case upside down, some glue got messed and got stuck on the outer surface. So I cleaned it with some stain remover. You can also use nail polish remover for this. Then slowly I cut the holes on the case with an exacto blade. ready. My mobile case got a new makeover. Years back when I moved into my present apartment, I had made this decoupage clock and we are still using it. Similarly, I also decoupaged a pendant light from IKEA to match the style of my living room. And that's it for now. See you all next time with more videos. Until then, goodbye.